I think some of you reactors who hit this up got it wrong. So let me uh, give y'all my perspective since unlike some of y'all, I was actually in the chat when this happened. And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, y'all know how we do. Intro. Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. What is good, Cree Squad fam? What is good, Great White Gang? Saint Squad fam and Goon Squad fam. It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another review video. And yes, this will be a review because, like I said in the opening bumper, I was actually in Triple T's live chat uh, when he and, of course, my homie Alpha Tyler, shout out to the homie Alpha Tyler, by the way, we're having a conversation with Adam Calhoun that, as I mentioned before in the past video, yes, it did get heated, you know, at first, but then as the conversation continues on, uh, it starts to wind down, it starts to cool down, it starts to calm down, um, so yeah, and uh, I hope a certain Creaker man is watching too, you know what I mean, since he only likes to tell half-truths and lies, I'm just saying, so uh, yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this conversation uh, for Triple T's uh, live that happened a couple days ago, uh, this is the Adam Calhoun comes up on panel to confront Triple T videos yeah so this is this isn't the actual live but this is the entire conversation that was clipped out from that live uh it's an hour and 30 minutes long so i'm gonna have to split this up in maybe one or two or two possibly three parts but i will have the whole entire conversation when it's all said and done up on my channel so you guys can get the full context of what was said because you know context is king and uh yeah and you know we all about you know on the side of real the side of right and the side of truth so without further ado, I'd like to hear here. I got a very special guest coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Mr. Adam Calhoun. Yeah, I wish you would have kept that one dude with the blue shirt or whatever on. Him? Yeah. Okay. What's up, Adam? Yeah, you got a lot to say. I mean, I got a lot of facts. You do? I mean, honestly, speaking from it, from, from following both of y'all, from following all of it, for real, I mean, you have to look at it and... From my perspective, I'm nobody. I'm just okay. See how this guy contradicts himself already. I'm nobody, but yet you got to look at it from my perspective. And because I've been following y'all so long, I have all the facts. Dog, I've been following both of these guys for so long too, and you think I have all the facts? No, no. So uh, yeah, it, that's not how that works. Okay, unless you're actually really buddy buddy with either of these guys or both of them right and you were actually there with them the whole time you ain't got shit so shut the fuck up and sit your ass down just the dude that goes to work every day that respects real because that's how i grew up you respect real but yet in in your eyes ryan can do no wrong he he's the second coming he can walk on water and everything yeah you're, you're not real if you got a friend you stick with that dude for yeah, real. when did I turn my back on Ryan? You did, dog. Come when? on. When? Okay, all right. For, honestly, Adam, for real. When when you said you was done with rapping and all this stuff, up church, come out to you, made an album with you. That shit was big. You know it was. What? That shit I said was I big. was done rapping and then made an uh, album. No, with you, Ryan. you 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 was you was almost done with. You said that. You said that. No, no, for no, real. No, no, no. Homie can't even answer a simple question. Adam asked, when did I turn my back on church? Homie tried to say at first, oh, like when you guys made hooligans and all this and that, like blah, blah, blah. You said you were done with rap. I don't think Adam said then he was done with rap. I think that was still early on in Adam's career, if I'm not mistaken, when they made hooligans. You know what I'm saying? Then he tried to go and just start rambling on about some other stuff. Like, dog, you can't even answer a simple question. So don't say you're on the side of real and that you be you have all the facts. You you can't answer simple questions. Sit down, Mocon 2.0. No, no, no. Yeah, you you did for real. You are said you talking that. about hooligan? Yeah, hooligan. I never said I was done rapping and then made a album with. Yeah, you when you st when you done that hooligan, that's what you said. That's what inspired you to do it. That's what you said that it it, it made. But that's not saying that that you know he was done or that he said he was done. 
Do you want to do it some more? Did you not say that? I've always said, I've always gave Ryan his props. Whatever. No, that's real, Adam. Facts. Go watch every ACAL interview. Whenever uh, Ryan's name gets mentioned, ACAL always gives Ryan his flowers, always acknowledges the fact that Ryan did help him, you know what I mean, help, bl help blow his career up. Adam has never denied that. Adam, did you not say that? Man, I don't remember. Hold on. Come so on, dog. I've been following, dude, I've been following both of y'all. I used to like you. I, don't Adam, I like how a follower thinks he has more say in what actually went down between two guys who, hung, who actually hung out with each other. You know what I mean? Then, then, then some idiot off the street, again, who looks like he could be Mokon's brother. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. <coughs> Damn it. That's what I get for, for making fun of this dude while I'm eating. But anyway, but anyway, I like, uh, like I was saying, I, I like how this dude, even though he recognizes the fact that he's nobody and he was nowhere near around him, but oh, but because he's, he's following them, he feels like he, he's the, uh, <coughs> the authority figure of all the facts and whatnot. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Fuck if you like me or not, dog. I, I know you don't because I'm nobody. I get that. So what I'm saying nobody. is, Up Church has always had your back. No, always. I've always had his you, back. True, I've always had his back. You, he had your back. <laughs> so you, why, okay. Why, so you, why, are, why are you commenting on? Why are you commenting on shit when when Mises is on this shit now? Why are you? I have a better question for you, Brandon. Why are you commenting on shit that you have no full knowledge of? When, when your ass wasn't, wasn't present around these two guys. And no, I'm not talking about... You may have been present around them like at shows and stuff. But no, I'm talking about outside of shows. Okay? During their downtime, their personal time. Where were you during those times? Not scared to comment. Do you think I'm someone's about, scared... Oh, I got to get on, some on, shit on. off my shoulders. Do you, do you think someone's scared of Ryan? You should be. Scared of what? Dude, come scared on. Scared of what? <clears throat> I'm sorry, but... Um, no, nobody's afraid of, of, an, of an of an overweight asthmatic who locks himself up again in a compound behind security gates and armed guards. <clears throat> you know what I mean? While he runs his his cocksucker on the internet. I'm sorry, but that's not someone to be feared. And I'm not trying to start anything. I'm just saying. Scared of what? Scared of what? You obviously are. You be <clears throat> sneak dissing all the time, dog. Sneak it. Scared. Come of on. What? Bro, we're all gonna die someday. What am I scared? You know what? You're right. You know what? 2020, dude. This world sucks. He's right. But no, you over here rapping with Tom McDonald. He don't give it. I like how um, Brandon asked uh, Adam questions, but yeah, he won't let Adam. He won't allow the airtime for Adam to to answer. See, this is how you know that this motherfucker, this idiot right here. This is how you know that he knows he's clearly wrong because he won't let people respond to him. He just wants to talk, just, just ka -ka 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 talk over people and shit because he knows he's wrong. That you're wrong because, and you know that you know you're wrong because you keep interrupting people when they're trying to answer your, your questions. And and when people ask you questions, you can't answer them simply. You got to dance around questions. You got to backpedal on some shit. But <laughs> what? Dude, Tom McDonald is making that music because he want, he's, making he's making money. Hey, he's making money. He's making money. Hey, right, hey pause. Pause. Come on, because, for real. Because this, like, like yelling isn't going to be constructive. You're, you're I mean, talking sorry, about people I, I, are scared. You want, you want to, know, you want to know why I haven't said anything? Why? Because you're gonna run him. No, he's gonna run you for real. You, so you, you want to hear his end, piece though, Brandon? My sentences. Can you get this dude? Out? <laughs> I like how Tyler had to tell him. Like, don't, don't you want to hear his piece, Brandon? I mean, you asked him a question. Out of here. All right, go ahead, Adam. For how many months? Two months. I haven't said shit. Facts. Because I'm like, all right, I'm having a kid. I'm trying to change the person I am. I'm trying to not react with anger. So I'm like, I'm going to take, fuck this. I'm going to take the high road. I don't need to deal with this shit. It's the internet. Fuck the internet. Everybody's on the internet talking shit on the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> so I don't, so finally I start being more um, reflective. And I start, I start looking at, at things differently. And all that did was make all these little motherfucking pieces of shit come out of the woodwork and think that they can attack me because I'm being quiet. So because I'm being quiet, <laughs> they think whatever Ryan says is the truth. Which is not fair. I don't care who you are, what your views are. It is not fair to Adam, who has, like he said, he has been quiet over the course of two months while Ryan on the other hand kept 
you know, spewing out his name like it's going out of style. And all of Ryan's dick writers did the same thing. They kept spewing up Adam's name. They kept talking about Adam. You know, Adam this, Adam that. Adam is the puppet master. Matt, Adam is is the one, you know, behind all all the shit and everything. And meanwhile, like like he said, he's being quiet because he's preparing for a kid. He's about to have another kid and everything. Put yourself in Adam's shoes. How would you feel, right? You're trying to build your family. You're 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 keeping your nose clean. You're staying off the internet. You're because you're trying to stay away from all the shit. But yet people keep dragging your name into the, into the shit. How would you feel? Put yourself in Adam's shoes for a minute. Get out of your shoes. Get off of Ryan's nuts and put yourself in Adam's shoes for a minute. How would you feel if you were in his position? Let's be real. Triple T, you said on one of your lives. I'm not saying. I just heard, you know, he got into a fight with the officers. And I'm not saying, but allegedly one of them was a woman. Get the fuck out of here, bro. My fucking records are all public. This is the type of shit that I'm talking about. You just got motherfuckers on the internet talking wild, just crazy ass shit. And, and, and. And what I'm and I'm supposed to be like, all right, well, fuck it, let them let them say whatever they want. Yeah, I guess right. Because now if I jump in this live, it's like, well, why is he jumping in this live? It's it's like enough is enough. First of all, Mises shouldn't be. I can't tell Chuck what to fucking do. Anyone that knows that motherfucker, and I've known that dude for fucking thirty years. I said you're the puppet master. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not helping. Anyone that knows that dude in real life. Fucking okay, Tyler, you trying to be a shit stirrer now too? What the hell, man? <laughs> I'm just playing, Brody. But <clears throat> but for, for those, yeah, for those who haven't figured out who Chuck is, Chuck is Mises. And yes, Mises is a real God-respecting man. You know what I'm saying? And like Adam said, Mises moves accordingly to <clears throat> how God tells him. You know what I mean? Mises prays on a, a lot of things, if not pretty much darn near everything. Um, before doing anything really you know he prays on it first and if god tells him that's the way to go then he'll go that way if god says no go this way instead then that's what he's gonna do knows that they can't tell him shit he's gonna do whatever the fuck he's gonna do regardless of what you tell him he moves by what god says to him Uh uh-huh yeah 100 percent. that's what i said earlier now, your mother died. Yeah. This motherfucker who was just down here, oh, up church, up church, I'll suck your dick up church. That motherfucker that was- By the way, Brandon, Ryan up church is not going to let you suck him off dry. All right? So get off his nuts. Who's just down here <clears throat> saying, oh, how come Adam's coming in your lives now and fucking saying comments? How many times have I been in your lives <clears throat> and said something? Two other times. Okay. When your mother, when you post that picture of your mother, did I go, did I comment on that? I don't know. I have to go back and look. Yeah, it's there. Regardless of what you were saying <clears throat> about me, because you know what? Life is more fucking important. Like I said, people are dying. I'm, I'm going to be worried about Ryan Upchurch. Hell yeah, he's going to end your career. <clears throat> end my fucking career. This all started by that dumbass video that I made a comment. <clears throat> and I have to say, man, I feel where Adam's coming from on that. Because here's the thing, man. Ryan's got this this unbelievable God complex when it comes to people's careers. He acts like, you know, he's he's a God in the game in the sense that, oh, all he has to do is talk bad on someone and that'll destroy, the, that, that'll wreck their careers. All he has to do is speak good on somebody and that'll, you know, launch their careers. I'm sorry, dude. You're, you're not God, okay? <clears throat> Your voice does not dictate how other people's careers go. I'm sorry. You know, what I mean, I mean, you can say whatever you want about me. I'm not going anywhere, dude. I'm not gonna stop working because, oh, because you're in your feels about me because I've been speaking speaking truth on you. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not gonna stop, bro. I'm not gonna stop speaking truth. Comment, and I said, yo, air me the fuck out, then. Quit fucking talking about it and air me the fuck out, cause I know damn well you ain't. A- facts, facts. See, what what have I said before in the past when it comes to <clears throat> certain types of people? Two types of people in the world in, in a situation like this. There's those who talk about it, and then there's those who actually be about it. So which one are you? Are you just going to sit around and talk about it, or are you going to freaking walk on it and be about it? Again, nobody's afraid of a guy who sits behind a camera while locked up in his compound with security gates and, and armed security guards running his mouth. Nobody fears that man. The loudest motherfucker in the room is the most insecure motherfucker in the room. Weren't you the one who put the who put in your IG stories, video clips of you fucking running around in the middle of the night in an open field screaming, rap, you say you're a better rapper than me, so rap, rap. Dog, you look like a fucking village idiot when you did that shit. 
never gonna walk out on no motherfucking street and see me. You ain't gonna go pick up. Oh, and by the way, the gentleman is sitting on the right with, with, with the cap. Um, that's Alpha Tyler. That was someone that you recognize as a old, right? Old war veteran. And don't say you didn't, because check this out. Even up until the other day, goofy ass. You over here threatening to fight old war veterans. Now that we got that established, this is the same old war veteran that you call a sissy bitch on Captain Kurt's live. Oh, you don't want to believe that either. Well, here's this receipt. It's like, it, what do you call them? Uh, the little soy boy people. It's like the little girly dudes, like the Alpha Tyler guy. Like, like he's the one running around and be like, Brian, why don't you answer your call? Dude, you sound like a bitch, motherfucker. You sound like a bitch. Not only that, what, what listen. What are you saying? You fucking Li sissy bitch. Like, so, given what, what you said on Cat the Curse Live and then following up with your vlog video when you address this old war veteran talking about Alpha Tyler, you were aware of Alpha Tyler's military record and you still called him a sissy bitch, which is, which is, which is funny and ironic because while this man was overseas fighting a good fight, fighting a real fight, where were you, Ryan? Hmm? Making those funny Vine videos, making some funny roast videos, playing Call of Duty. So with that being the case, Who's the real sissy bitch? Oh! I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <clears throat> Patch of fucking grass and see me there. You're going to argue with me and fuck with me on the internet. That's why nobody says Ryan's name. Because they don't feel like going back and fucking forth on the internet with a grown ass fucking man. Facts. Hence why Struggle Jennings went to his house to go confront him. Hence why Jelly Roll went to his house to go confront him. Hence why... Adam went to his house to go confront him man to man because they don't do the fucking sissy boy internet shit. That's what Ryan does. Why did you <laughs> call him? Did that. Why don't you go to his house? Did that. Why don't... Hear that? Uh, yo, yo, let's, let, let, let's point that back. About it and air me the fuck out because I know damn well you ain't ever going to walk out on no motherfucking street and see me. You ain't going to go pick a patch of fucking grass and see me there. You're going to argue with me and fuck with me on the internet. That's why nobody says Ryan's name because they don't feel like going back and fucking forth on the internet with a grown ass fucking man. Why didn't you call him? Did that. Why don't you go to his house? Did that. Why don't you call his people? Did that. I did all that shit. And now me making this, me <clears throat> fucking coming. And see, Brandon, this is why we don't speak on shit we don't have full knowledge of. So you think you have all the facts when you really don't. Sit your punk ass down. Up here saying what I'm saying. Now I'm going to have to deal with whatever <clears throat> dumbass shit is said on the fucking internet back. I have, dude, I have my fucking name, my fucking word. No one fucking question when he said, oh, he's, he did these diss tracks. Now people are saying I did diss tracks about him when I was recording with Tom and I recorded these diss tracks at his fucking house. What the fuck are people talking about? No one said, well, where are these Fixed diss resolution. tracks? Where are these diss tracks? Where? Are these fucking diss tracks? I'm such a snake. Facts, actual factuals. Um, yeah, I I mean, I would like to know where these diss tracks are too. If you truly believe Adam made these diss tracks, reveal your source. Give us receipts to prove that he made these diss tracks. Dude, I have my fucking <clears throat> name, my fucking word. No one fucking question when he said, oh, uh, he's he did these diss tracks. Now people are saying I did diss tracks about him when I was recording with Tom and I recorded these diss tracks at his fucking house. What the fuck are people talking about? No one said, well, where are these diss tracks? Where are these diss tracks? Where are these <laughs> fucking diss tracks? I'm such a snake. Where are they? That's a good question. I can't answer that. Nobody fucking can. Neither can I. So yeah, so to those in the comment section, no, uh, Adam said he did and everything. Adam doesn't even know where these diss tracks are so with that being the case adam odds are did not make the diss tracks because he doesn't even know where they are don't you think if he did make those diss tracks he would know where they are mm -hmm. and given with what's been going on with you know in regards to him he would have put him out so i'm so my whole fucking reputation my fucking i'm the i am the real motherfucker have I fucked up? Yes. Have I made mistakes? Yes. Have I said the wrong fucking things? 
Yes. Am I fucking human? Yes. But as, to Adam's point, as y'all are and as I am, we're all human beings at the end of the day. We all fuck up. We all do the wrong thing at the end of the day. We all do things that we're not proud of at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none of us perfect. Did I fuck Ryan up, church? Sober? Never. He's like, oh, he was the middleman when <clears throat> Jelly Roll and Struggle came to my house. No, motherfucker. I was your friend. These motherfuckers call me like, yo, you better call your boy and tell him we're coming. Okay, hold up. Call him. No answer. Deer dog. Hey, get over to Ryan's. Why? Because Jelly Roll and Struggle are coming over. Why? I don't know. They don't seem too happy, but they don't seem like they're on some bullshit. They don't seem happy about, though. I'm hopping on a plane going down there right fucking now. Why? Because I don't want to see no bullshit happen between my friends who I thought were fucking friends. Because when I met fucking Struggle <clears throat> for the first time, I met him at Upchurch's house, and all Upchurch had to say about him was good fucking things. So Adam was trying to play peacekeeper. He was trying to keep the peace among peace amongst his friends because that's what friends do. Friends don't want to see friends fight each other. Friends don't want to see friends destroy each other. So Adam was going to go and again trying to trying to go and and stop you know Jelly and struggle from doing whatever it is that they had planned to do to church. Yes, Adam was being a friend. He was trying to look out for not only church but also for struggle and jet and jelly there's a picture of all four of us me jelly struggling up church together that to me is a legendary picture i thought it was us versus fucking the world and hey, it's outside of the studio when i did country rap tunes and put colt ford on the album was fucking i was i was i shouldn't say put him on the album i was fucking honored to have colt ford the lax all these old school fucking guys who are originators in this fucking lane. That's and what I did. Broadnax is on the album. Upchurch is on the album. Demon's on the fucking album. Struggle's on the fucking album. Jelly's on the <clears throat> fucking album. That's a fucking shout out and paying homage to all the fucking guys who came before me. Dude, dude, I, I, I gotta go back and listen to that, man, because that sounds fire. Hey, hey, Adam, pause real quick. Um, Because the chat's asking, can you clarify, please, that you did not make a diss track against Ryan? Motherfucker, I, I... do you not speak English in the fucking chat? Do you not hear what the fuck I'm saying? There you go. And they're also asking, did you give them his address or not? <clears throat> Ryan knows that I didn't give his fucking address. I wouldn't give a motherfucker Ryan's phone number. Ryan knows that I didn't give him his, their fucking address, his address. I'm sorry, that wasn't for me. I was just, like, pointing that because I, I apparently people can't, like, hear between the lines. So hold up, so hold up. I could have made a video out of this and fucking did my own little video and clipped it. Now, before someone comments down below, well, he did make a video. Yes, after this conversation took place. The date of this conversation, well, this is the clip. Let me see if I can minimize right quick to go to Triple T's channel because I do have it tabbed up. Stream three days ago. This was the uh, at St. Mises, I believe. Yeah, the at St. Mises shows receipts on Ryan Up Church and A and A Cal calls out Up Church. So yes, stream three days ago that this was the live that featured A Cal and when he and when he had the conversation with both Triple T and Alpha Tyler and this video that we're looking at now, which is the clip of the whole entire conversation. This was two days ago. So this was the day after and then a cow's video, <clears throat> I believe also came out uh, the day after uh, that triple T live stream. So miss me with that bullshit. Did all together, made a video about all this shit, but I came on your channel because I'm sick of hearing all this fucking bullshit. And, and half, of it, half of it is just speculation. No one knows what the fuck they're talking about. Do I give a fuck if Ryan Upchurch doesn't like me? You know what? It sucks because there's a lot of good things that I remember with Ryan. If, if, we're not, if we're not friends anymore, okay, that shit happens. <clears throat> is Ryan going to end my fucking career? End my career, motherfucker. Let's get it on. Ain't no one scared of Ryan Upchurch in fucking person, on a microphone, anywhere. The only fucking thing that nobody wants to do and i'm talking about all of his fucking peers is go on the fucking internet like <clears throat> some bitches and go back and forth talking shit about each other facts and what did ryan do after his live <clears throat> appearance on captain kurt's live stream he made a vlog talking shit on a cow hmm why is everyone so fucking quiet and not just a cow but also on mises as well I'm 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 with you. Why are you so quiet, Triple you. T? What are you uh, quiet about? What? What? Come on! What you got to say, dog? I've been up here dagging on advocating for Mises and this all this bullshit. You yeah, you know what's funny though? You never advocate for fucking me for what? <laughs> what did I do? To, what did I do? 
Hold on, y'all. I need some water. Okay, so whatever fight Trump me. says is Hold fucking on. gold, no. right? No, no, no. That's where you're wrong, right there. Because I'm not a church lackey, and anybody who knows me knows I'm not a church lackey. I, I there's a lot. That. There's a lot of things church says that I don't hold agree up, with. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So church says, church says, hey man, out of respect for your family, I got a lot of dirt on you, <clears throat> motherfucker. And in in Triple T's defense, yes, Triple T, I believe, also was against church when church was doing all those Kylie Rodney videos, <clears throat> which he will get into. Fucker, you don't think everyone's got <clears throat> a lot of dirt on you? Okay, but what that's between fuck? you and church. What's that got to do with me? I'm saying church says I got a lot of dirt on you, but for respect to your family, I ain't going to say it. Church don't think a lot of people got a lot of fucking dirt on him. I'm Which is some bullshit that you say when you actually don't have anything. Sure, they do. Okay. Do you think I, that's why I said air me the fuck out then? Let's get it on, motherfucker. Let's go. D did someone take that as a fucking <gasps> sign of me being scared? I never, my whole life I never said, you, first of all, Adam, I never said you were scared. And then he says, and then he says, out of respect for your family, I'm not going to do that because I'm such a good guy. Motherfucker, you ain't got respect for my family. You ain't got respect for your own motherfucking family. I guess. Which is true because Church, you know, aired out his personal family business all over YouTube. He used that, you know, for what? For clicks, views, for numbers? Dog. What? There's a fucking dead fucking little teenage girl that this motherfucker's talking about all the fucking time that has fucking parents <clears throat> that are grieving. Does he give a fuck about their family? Nope. And I disagree with him on that as well. Bullshit. See? Disagree with that with, with him on that as well. As so do I. Sucking dick shit. Ain't nobody <clears throat> scared of fucking Ryan up, church. Get the fuck out of here. The only thing. That anyone's fucking annoyed about is Ryan Upchurch going online, making 700 million motherfucking videos, and fucking airing everybody's business out. Well, guess what, motherfucker? You got dirt on you too, bitch. I know that for a fact. So fucking let's get it. Air me the fuck out. Don't act like, oh, no, I didn't even see that video. Oh, no, I didn't hear that song. Oh, no. No, no, it's not that he didn't see those things. He probably doesn't recollect, or he probably can't recollect. I don't know who this person is. Man, shut the fuck up. So to the chat again, real quick. I I I, I think that like chat. fuck that chat. Whoever's asking any dumbass fucking questions. Now to give context as to why Adam was was upset with the chat and why he basically didn't want nothing to do with the chat at first, it's because he couldn't see the chat. So Adam's that kind of guy where if he can't see something, he doesn't hear anything, and he's not gonna deal with it because you know it's it's not existent to him. <laughs> you know. So well, I'm, I'm, I've been doing this and been the same motherfucker for eight motherfucking years. I haven't changed up my fucking stance on shit. What I went and worked with Tom McDonald. Last time I saw him and Tom McDonald, he's showing his mom Tom McDonald. He's fucking talking about Tom McDonald all the motherfucking time. And yeah, no. Nah, then he hates Tom McDonald. Then he the same Tom McDonald that Upchurch did a song with Travelers. <clears throat> He deleted it off of his channel too, I, and I, I can prove this for a fact because what? Type in Up Church Travelers, you won't see that song on his channel, but it's still available to listen to on YouTube. So nice try, Ryan. Just like when you try to um, delete the comment where you call me uh, a moron, even though you forgot the R, so you really call me Moon. Um, yeah, I, I I screenshotted that comment and I displayed it on, you know, the video where you disrespect him. My, my Brody, who is an army vet. So, yeah. See, here's the thing about me, church. I'm a security guard. And Security 101 document everything. So, you want to keep playing these, these little, these little fuckboy games with me? Keep it up, bro. But I'm telling you right now, you're fucking with the wrong one. I'm just saying. He hates struggle. Then he hates fucking jelly. Then he hates fucking this motherfucker then he's mad at this motherfucker doesn't he need to take a fucking look in the mirror and say oh maybe i'm the motherfucker i'm, I'm, I'm talking about you guys and and you do have fans in the chat too Man, like they're sticking that up chat. i don't give a fuck about that chat i, I know. know and again it's because he can't see the chat so that's why he's saying what he's saying about the chat oh, that you, triple t right in your fucking face <clears throat> why in the fuck would you go hold on, online? Hold on, motherfucker. You ain't gonna come up here and they're gonna disrespect let's go. me. Let's go. I'll go to your fucking... Let's do let's, this. Let's go. Come I'll to go my to fucking house, house then. I'll I wish go to your you house, would. Motherfucker. Cause you I will ass. bust your motherfucking ass. With a gun, that's about it. A gun, With a gun, no. that's about it. Right here.
Right here, motherfucker. Let me tell tomorrow? you something. I now, yes, do I agree it, uh, the conversation got silly here? Yes, absolutely, 100%. But here's the thing that people need to understand. <clears throat> you know, you got a guy who, again, is angry, and if anything, he's more angry with the situation. You know what I'm saying? Whether you believe he's the cause of it or not, doesn't matter. It's not relevant. Um, <clears throat> because, again, you know, when shit popped off between him and church yes he did put out a video called my friend but then he after that he went quiet he went quiet for a solid couple of months you know what i'm saying and he's angry because you know again people keep dragging his name into the mix whether it's ryan himself or his little dick riders somebody keeps dragging his name uh, through the mud they keep throwing him under the bus and everything so understand a cow is more upset and angry with the with the situation rather than being angry with triple t you know what i'm saying but understand though when <clears throat> when men when, when 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 men hash things out when men settle things hey sometimes it takes a heated argument you know what i'm saying for them to handle things sometimes it comes to blows you know what i'm saying that's just how men are when handling things you know what i mean it's easy to be on the outside and criticize a man like that's an a cow's position and be like man he's, why is he so angry and you know what i mean why, why is he being such such a dick why is he being such a motherfucker right now Again, put yourself in his position. How would you feel being in his spot? So easy to sit on the sidelines, right? Warming a bench, calling this man all kinds of names, you know what I mean? And criticizing him for being so angry. But then again, but like I said, you put yourself in his shoes. How would you feel if you were in that spot? And I already know what your answers would be because it's the easiest answer anyone can give. But I will answer honestly. And I will say this. If I was in his shoes, I'd be, I'd be the same way. I'd be pissed off. I'd be heated. I would want to confront every motherfucker. You know what I mean? That's <clears throat> throwing my name out there in, in, in a negative light. So I get it. The man has every right to fight for his name, as everyone should. Every individual should. If your name's being thrown out there in such a negative light, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you feel like you know? Yo, I need to say something. I need to defend my name because my name's being tarnished right now. I know I would. I would fight for my name. It's like what um. What fucking um Al Pacino said in, in Scarface. You know what I mean? That movie Scarface, man. All I have in this world are my balls and my word. And I don't break them for nobody. I'll be there. Let me tell you something, Adam. I'll be there tomorrow. Yes. I'll be there tomorrow. Just because even you've need to been about to about prison, it. don't intimidate nobody, my yes. brother. I'll be there tomorrow. Yes. Let me Let's tell you something. Let's do it. I'll, I'll be there been tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. Come on then. I'll be there tomorrow. You want to say that I beat women? I'll be there tomorrow, motherfucker. Well, look, <clears> motherfucker, I'll put. My address in the fucking private chat, so, and you so, pull up to this motherfucker. Hold How about you that? Guaranteed, it's guaranteed. Pause, it's pause, 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 guys, 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 guys. Because everybody here, knows that though. Fuck. Everybody already knows that. Fucking, fucking pull up then. So I, I will say, because me and Tim got told that at the same time, and and uh, Tim has called that out to have been misinformation before. He he did admit that that was. And Triple T did, did correct himself, and, and he did say it was a rumor, it was a ledge, meaning he's not saying it's true, he's not saying he's not. Tr it's not true, all he said was that it's a rumor, it's a ledge, so he, he's not confirming that it was true, and then when, when it was confirmed that, yeah, it was all, you know, fake news, propaganda, he then corrected himself and didn't say, yeah, you know, yeah, it's, it's not true, it's not true, it's all just rumors. It was, that was... There's my fucking address in the private chat. Pull the I, fuck I'm up. I'm happy to come over because you ain't going to be I'm shit. Scared. You think I'm scared of you because you get on the internet? I've been to prison. I've been to prison. Look here, motherfucker. Well, this ain't prison, prison politics. This ain't prison politics. I don't Just because you've been to politics. prison don't mean shit. I've been to motherfucking combat. I'm battle testing combat approved. What the fuck you want to do for hey, a dollar? Thank you for your service, but that ain't got nothing Man, to do with your fuck you and my fucking service. How about that? Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. It's easy to do that shit on the internet. Yeah, it is easy to do it on the internet. Just like it's easy for you to come up here and be a fucking dick. I don't just do this shit on the internet. Well, then pull up then. I will. You better pack a lunch. Motherfucker, so, I ain't got to pack shit. You better pack a fucking... And see, I, I feel like right here, Adam was doing this right here to prove a point. And that is, yeah. See, you see how easy it is to act tough on the internet, hiding behind the screen? It, it's easy. It's the easiest thing to do. A lunch. Just don't sue me. How about that? Oh, I ain't gonna shoot you. No, don't sue Trust me. Man. I don't give a fuck. I, I ain't gonna sue you either. I'll sign whatever the fuck you want. You ain't gotta sign shit. shit. And we do the shit right in the fucking in the street or in the bro, fucking backyard. Like I, don't I don't give a fuck. fuck. 
You ain't got to talk about it no more. You already sent it. Hey, let's go. Let's get it, baby. There's two things I like to do in this world, and that's fight and fuck, and I'd rather fight than fuck. Oh, yeah, well. I'm sorry. I can't help but laugh every time I hear Tim say that because just the way he said it, man, it's just funny to me. And plus, yeah, it's it's a silly thing to, 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 to say, but, I mean, I get it. I mean, understand, Tim is in, it's in the heat of the moment, but, uh, but like I said, I, I couldn't help but laugh, man, because that shit just sounds funny to me. I'm an asshole. What do you expect? That's what everybody says. Oh, I'm about it. Okay. What are we going to see? Well, we are going to see. Okay, cool. What else? Cool. Cool. What else you got? What else? What else you got? You want to come up here and no, and you want to sit up shit? there. You want to sit up there and say that I fucking hit punch a female officer. Did you not say that? I, I said that you were arrested, and allegedly, the rumor had it that what you rumor? hit the rumor that's been running around for the last fucking five years on the fucking internet about your fucking arrest that you fucking accidentally fucking hit a female cop. So I've never heard that rumor in my fucking life anywhere on the internet as well. So I I oh, remember when it's it, out there. I remember okay. when it came because it came to it 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 came to us. We actually talked about it a little while after, and uh, Tim did acknowledge that it wasn't true though. At one point, I believe I might be wrong. No, he hasn't. No, he never has. I mean, did did I I, I like I, I think you did though, didn't you? I did. My records okay. are all fucking public. That's fine. Right. 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 So maybe no, you want to do your some record. research before you fucking before you fucking say some dumbass shit like that, bro. Th there's three things in this world. There's three things in this fucking world that you could, that are the worst things possible: touching a little fucking kid, no rape, shit. and hitting a woman. Yeah. So for you, I I, I agree with Acal on all those things. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> R wording. I gotta say it that way because YouTube. Um. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, abusing women, abusing children. Yeah, those are the three awful things that, you know, anyone can, can accuse you with. And it's not something that you should play around with. You know what I'm saying? Um, unless you actually know for sure. You know what I mean? If you got the receipts to prove it. Who to fucking have some type of issue with me on the internet and say that fucking ooh, alleged. And, but you know what you're doing. And basically saying that I fucking hit a woman. That never happened. Okay. And I said, if it didn't, I apologize. If, but that was the rumor that was running around. You think it, I'm the only one that heard that? No, you're the only one that I heard talk about it, though. Yeah, because I got the balls to say it. Balls? You have the balls to say something that's not true? Wow. Now, I will have to side with ACAL on this and agree that, yeah, I mean, to say that you have the balls... And don't get me wrong. Like I said, I, I got love for Triple T. I got respect for Triple T. But, uh, yeah, I have to say that I uh, <clears throat> respectfully disagree with that statement. You know what I mean? Uh, because, you know, again, if you're going to accuse someone or and I'm not that's actually a poor choice of word. If you're going to say, you know, that someone is being accused, you know, what I mean, allegedly of doing um, the, the uh, things that, that, that you mentioned and. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, a poor choice of words right there to say that you have the balls to say something that, that is not true. Um, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, it, it's all, but again, to give context, understand these guys are obviously having a heated discussion right now. So everything, so things like that, that's being said, it's all in the heat of the moment. So, you know, you got, you got to give it that, that much credit. You know what I mean? Anyway. Oh, fuck. That's crazy. Seems like there's a whole bunch of guys on the internet that got a lot fucking balls to say a bunch of shit that's not true. Yep. Yeah, I mean, especially Ryan. Ryan's been saying all kinds of things that are not true either. He has yet to produce any receipts to support his claims on all and on all the negative things that Adam supposedly done to him. You know what I mean? To prove that Adam is is, is a snake and everything. He has yet to prove that. Acal's not wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of people do have. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people, especially guys like Ryan, that have the balls to say some things that are not true. Again, on the internet. But you're not going to intimidate me like you did. Bro, Captain I'm Kirk. not trying to intimidate you. Yeah, you you know that I don't give a fuck about coming to your well, house. I don't, I don't care. I don't give a fuck either. Okay, no, I don't then, give a then, fuck then either. stop talking about it. I don't give a fuck. No, I'm not talking about it. You're the you one still said, talking about it. You just said. You're the one still I'm talking about it. I'm not going to intimidate you. I'm not trying to intimidate you. You're not you. going to intimidate me. The only reason. Good, man. Good. The Good. only reason I brought that up is because what you said about me personally. I Don't I have to protect my fucking name as a man? Yeah, you should. See, even an honorable man like Triple T agrees. 
that yes you do have every right to protect your name as you should you should protect your name you should fight for your name because that's all you got really at the end of the day is your name your name your word your and, and your and your boys you know what i'm saying bruh okay and as a man, you think you should be fucking talking shit about another man about fucking hitting a fucking woman when you can literally just go and get the fucking paperwork right there. It's fucking open to the public. And at, to Adam's point, yes, uh, he's not wrong there. If you really want to know somebody's, you know, criminal history, yes, it is public record. Anyone's arrest record, it's all open to the public. Anyone can really look up this stuff for themselves. They really care enough to want to know the truth behind all that stuff, Google is your friend. You will never find a fucking arrest record on Adam Calhoun for touching a fucking female ever, period. Yeah, you know, from from what I've seen from, from A-Cal, because I follow, I follow A-Cal too, and I've been following A-Cal for a good minute, and from what I've seen, <clears throat> you know, yeah, I, I have every reason to believe that A-Cal is not the type uh, to put his hands on a woman. At least not like that, you know what I mean? I have every reason to believe he is not, you know, abusive towards women. <clears throat> and at the end of the day, what, what, what do I know? I mean, I'm just one man at the end of the day. And when I come to your house, and we do whatever the fuck we do, and when it's all we over, do. and we're sitting there, I guarantee to you, you're going to understand what type of motherfucker I am before I leave and there. You're gonna and you're going to understand who I am. You damn right you are. are. And you're going to be you fucking right. happy as fuck to know who I am. And I'm sure I'll be happy to know you as well. Oh, I will. This ain't. This is not a fucking game to me. This is my fucking life. This is not a game to me either. This is not a game to me either. This is not a game to me either. Yeah, well, you're playing with people's lives like it's a game. How am I playing with your fucking life like it's a game? Because you're fucking putting my name out there and all this dumbass fucking conspiracy. I haven't said your fucking name since you fucking did fight music. Okay, I don't care. That that kind of that kind of hurt my ear a little bit, but I I, I think that I, I deserve that because. There was a panel that I was on with with, with Tim and, and and I I heard his ears too so so I, I had to give him that one. Eric, you listen. That's another thing Ryan said. Oh, there's tons of people that don't like my music. If a reactor doesn't like you, I don't give a. F you guys remember this this portion of this this clip here? It's in my um uh, right up church disrespects an army vet video that was before this one. Flying. Fuck if a reactor doesn't like my fucking music. I like Here's your fuck I... around and find out song with Brian. You hear that, Ryan? You hear what Triple T just said? You hear what what what, what this old war veteran, as as you said, said just said right now? He likes Adams. Fuck around and find out song. Brian, uh, with Brian, uh, Brian Martin. Yeah, him. I thought the shit was dope. Thank you. I don't care. Thank you. I don't care if a fucking. And see how respectful Adam was being right there. Told Triple T. Not once, but twice. Thank you. You know, he, he appreciated the compliment. Reactor doesn't like my music. I, I don't care. It's it's everyone's. Some people, this person's their favorite artist. Some people, this person's their favorite artist. I don't care who likes my fucking music. I don't care what reactor likes my music or what reactor doesn't like my music. What I do care is when the reactor's like, oh, he's taking shots at John. Oh, he's taking shots at Ryan. Oh, he's taking shots. What? If yeah, that that is not cool. I mean, I can I can see yes how some people can understand or can when they look hear certain lines and they can see how it could be, you know, shots. But and and yes, sometimes when Adam makes music, yes. I, to be fair, there are some lines where it does sound like he's talking to somebody. But see, for for someone like me and my reaction to white rapper that a cal uh, to a, a cal's uh, recent drop, white rapper. I just did that reaction is like, like like a few videos ago. Um, if you guys want to go check that out, but in that video, I I said at the very least, he's talking to somebody, but I never put names to it because I don't I don't know if he really is talking to somebody or not. So I'm not gonna jump the gun and be like, oh he he, he must be talking about, about about church. Oh he must be talking about Broadnax. No, I I always I always say if I don't know, I always say like, you know, oh he talking to somebody. I don't know who, but he talking to somebody. That's always my go-to uh, saying if I feel like he is talking about somebody. You know what I mean? I think I think I did the same thing in Shook ones too, uh, where, where, where hey, he was calling out some people. It sounded like he was calling out some people, but again, I can't say who because I don't know for sure if he is talking to somebody uh, in particular or not. That's just how I do things. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, I, 
I don't like stirring up shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy. I don't want to like, you know, <clears throat> look like, um, BS bitch boy, you know what I'm saying? And cause drama. You know what I mean? When there's just no need for it. There's just no need for it. You know what I mean? And that's really all this is at the end of the day. I agree. Yes. This is all bullshit. This is all fucking drama. It needs to be fucking squashed. You know what I'm saying? But I'm man enough to say too, that, um, you know, Ryan Upchurch needs to fucking man up, needs to find his set and fucking, you know, put this shit to rest. You know what I'm saying? If I was going to take a shot at Ryan, I would just say, fuck you, motherfucker. That's it. But no, you guys want to see me and Ryan. And plus, does nobody remember the the um, the Huck Fozier song that Adam put out where Adam dissed Hozier? So there you go. If Adam wants to diss somebody, he will put their name on the title and he will say their name in the track. And go. Ryan wants to see me and Ryan go. Why would I want to see? First of all, that is. A and he's not wrong about that at all. Again, the village idiot running in, in the middle of the night in, in an open field talking about rap. You said you were better rapper than me. So rap, motherfucker. All right, guys, let me explain. Psych, motherfucker. I ain't explaining shit. Try and tell me what I can and can't say. Sit your dumb ass down. Daddy's talking. These motherfuckers been trying to control my narrative and control me for years. And I'm finally like, fuck all y'all. Come get some. Then what? Then they want to pull some hoe shit and be like, oh, Kylie Wadney, a uh, true crime community. Shut the fuck up and put it on the fucking mic. You said you're a rapper. Rap then. Or you can sit there like a fucking fairy that you are and just bite a bunch of time by talking about YouTube stuff and making vlogs. You're a better rapper. Rap. Rap, 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 rap. Everyone's sitting here waiting for you to rap. It's a false statement right there. No, it isn't. Yes, no, it isn't. More you can't say that we want to see you two go. for you guys. Why? Why, 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 does, why would it do that? It's going to divide the fucking fan base. Half a goon squad is Creed squad. Mm -hmm. Half a Creed squad is goon squad. Yep. Why would we want the fans to fucking choose sides? Just like not wrong. Jesus in church. Why do we want the fans to choose sides? That's what the fuck we've been up here for. They're trying to settle this fucking stupid shit. To Tim's credit, yeah, he has been trying to trying to keep the peace, trying to get people to understand, hey, look, if Upchurch and Adam got beef with each other, that needs to stay between them. You know what I mean? That's between whatever's going on between Ryan and Adam, that's between Ryan and Adam. You know what I mean? The fans should not be getting involved and having to pick a side. I mean, hell, even Church was decent enough to say on Captain Kirk's. You know what I mean? Why do people feel a need to choose teams? They don't even have to pick my team. I will give Ryan up Church that much credit. Because see, Ryan, I can be fair. I may be tough, but I can be fair. See, I can acknowledge when you said something decent for once recently. Again, on Captain Kirk's Live, you said... Why do people feel this need to choose teams? I'm not saying you have to pick my, my team. I don't, want snake, the fans, man. I don't want the fans to choose sides, but like... When I'm quiet for two fucking months, two months, I'm quiet, right? Okay. And still, still, this shit's still going on. Mm -hmm. And this motherfucker, Not Ryan, wrong. still poking little jabs out there. Yep. Poking little jabs out there. Yep. Uh, there, there was an interview he did with another reactor. I believe his name is Zeus. Something Zeus. I can't remember. Chill Rock said his name, but I, I only remember like the Zeus portion of his name. Uh, he interviewed Church recently and church mentioned adam's name in that interview and he told the story about how adam drove to his house because again as adam said adam was trying to talk to church face to face like a man which again church is too afraid to do motherfuckers there are certain people in this community wants that shit to happen we're trying to stop the shit from happening okay hey, that's you know why what? we did that's why two streams ago we were on live for nine hours they're trying to debunk all this bullshit mm -hmm. about Mises and Church that Country Rap Kendrick was a diss, diss track when it wasn't. Let, let me. Yeah. Country Rap Kendrick is not a diss. Mises simply told Ryan, dude, holla at me. Let's let's talk. And they have each other's phone numbers. So like Mises said, if Ryan had a problem with something that he said um, in Country Rap Kendrick, call him. Have the conversation. Then, me... then the next night. I went and fucking went live and I played nothing but church and music music back to back, back to back to show people how they should work together. Facts, because Triple T is not biased towards either party. I saw what you did. I saw so how the fuck are we that going promoting you and fucking Ryan go at each other? 
because you weren't you weren't fucking sitting there with uh what's his name fucking cat on fight music yes okay yes on fight music okay. because it seemed like there was a lot of okay. subliminals in that fucking track okay but other than that what so i have been quite again you just said you weren't doing that and you just said you did so that's what i I'm said saying. on fight music okay i think adam is trolling triple t at this point because triple t clearly said on fight music yes he he said what he said he accused adam of going in on some people but based on the interpret on how he interpreted those lines that Adam had in the in that song, but then he corrected himself and said, "Okay, fine, it's it's not a diss." Music, yes. Okay, there you go. Because after what happened the next day, you went live for the first time to talk about a bunch of conspiracy. Again, that's another. I who gives a fuck? So one one thing you guys see one thing you're like, oh, that's. Well, why do you give a fuck about Fire Reactor who's got less than fifty thousand subs? What do you care Bro, about? What we got to because say? Because you're this community is a small community, and when people, I give a fuck if anyone. Yes, a small community. So you think we got the? I, we you think that we're in, in church's ear? You think he's listening to us? Yes. And I know for a fact Church does watch Triple T because he admitted it in his vlog when he accused Adam of. Traveling to go beat up some old war veterans again, Ryan Alpha Tyler. Well, I don't think I said this earlier, so let me let me correct myself. Uh, Alpha Tyler is 33 years of age, he's your age, Ryan, so he's not an old war veteran. And Alpha Tyler, again, yes, it's the same Alpha Tyler that is Mises' DJ that you r ran, ran your mouth on, that you disrespected. This man was overseas fighting for your rights and your freedom, and you straight up disrespected him on Captain Kurtz Live. Feeling good about yourself, Ryan? And you wonder why you lost 50,000 subs. Oh, yeah, go check Ryan's sub count. He went from 3.20, I believe it was, to now 3.17, which may not seem like a lot given the his his sub count currently is still over 3 million, but that's still a lot. But 50K subs, that's a good chunk of subs that he lost right there. Has Church ever been on my panel? Nope. Have I ever had an interview with Church? Nope. No. I don't fucking know. No. You don't think he goes and sees what he don't you he, you you think he doesn't see your videos? Oh, he does. I'm sure he does. He's Fuck commenting yeah. on my videos. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But he don't listen. He sees everything that goes on in regards to him. He's commenting on my videos, and I'm and no, I'm not talking about recently, but before when everything was cool between me and Church. He's commenting on my videos. You know what I mean? He gave me compliments and everything. You know what I'm saying? He even have have my back against some trolls in in comments. So see, Church. Even though we're, we're at odds right now, I can still give you credit for the good things you have done for me. Because, again, I'm fair. Listen to me. I think Ryan Upchurch uh, in real life and Ryan Upchurch that you guys think on the internet are two different things. Actually, I don't think I fucking know for a fact. And, again, Adam should know Ryan better than any of us because, again, they've been so tight. They were like brothers. So when it comes to Adam, nobody knows Church better than Adam. And uh, it's it's kind of actually sad. That's another reason why you want another reason why I didn't say anything f for fucking because. Let me show you who I represent. Motherfucker, that's awesome, dude. I love Jesse Howard. New breed. I, I don't know him. Yeah, you do. If you know Jesse Howard, you know. No, New I've breed. never they met him in my life. I've met Jesse Howard. I've been around Jesse Howard. Right, isn't that what we're arguing about? I don't know this person. I don't know that person. Never met this. I never met. I never met New Breed. I've met Jesse Howard several times. You get the reference right there? <laughs> Is this what we're arguing about now? Who, who who knows who? Okay. And I think he's a great human. I don't know. He Newbury. is. He's my brother. Yeah, I don't know Newbury. So I'm here. If you got any other questions, I'm here. All right, guys. So I think what I'll do is um I'll cut this portion of the video off here. But don't worry. We'll, we'll pick up from right where we leave off here in the next video. So, yeah. Um, so make sure y'all y'all keep it locked right here. I'm I am gonna be recording these back to back. So yeah, I will be here for a good minute. And uh, yeah, till then, y'all know the deal. Like, comment, share, and of course subscribe. Especially if you're new and, and you're digging the vibes, I would very much appreciate that. And those of you who've been rocking with me, man, very much appreciate it. Much love. And uh, yeah, all the links, yeah, uh, if you guys are curious, are in the description down below. Uh, if you're able to help out, cool. Not. Hey, no worries, all good. You can do all the, the, the YouTube things, you know what I'm saying, for free. And that still helps me as well. So, yeah. With all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. Seeing y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I'll catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Go 
don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Patrick. I'm one half of the next dude. I'm on the street. I'm going to sing with such a new thing. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're sad, you're happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. Because my thing occurs all the time. So you're ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!